The much anticipated high school football season is finally here. It's Chopticon host Thomas Stone in the season opener. And of course, it's our featured high school game of the week. I'll have your play by play and analysis. Chopticon head coach Anthony Lasani knows Stone won't be a walk in the park come Friday night. Well, we try to attack what they do well, you know, and so if, if we can. If we can attack what they do well and maybe get them out of their comfort zone, we feel we'll have more success. But, you know, of course, that's always easier said than done. Uh, you want to try to take away their best plays, and uh, you want to try to put maybe a little more pressure. For instance, Stone's a great running team. They can definitely run. Uh, so uh, we feel like if we can slow them down a little bit and force them into doing some things they don't normally like to do, that perhaps we'll have more success. Well, you know, hopefully the weather's nice and we get a nice crowd out there. I chopped a con. I've been here 26 years, and I got to tell you, uh, we've always had great support from the fans. I can remember traveling as a JV coach to Lackey and thinking, wow, we got a ton of people, parents, family, friends in the stands. And, and that does go a long way because the kids feed off of that. So hopefully uh, we have a nice crowd. It's a nice weather, and, uh, you know, they get behind us and we give them something to cheer about. Let's take a trip down memory lane for the old sportscaster here. As a young boy, my friends and I would sit around and read comic books. We'd talk about the latest adventures of Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, the X-Men. But there was one superhero that stood out above the rest that we all admired, Wonder Woman. See, what made her special was she had all the same superpowers as the other superheroes, but she was a she. That made her even cooler. This week, I had the opportunity to meet a real-life Wonder Woman in Margaret Cook. Margaret Cook is owner of KCG Sport Horses, but just spend a few moments talking to her and you quickly discover she's more than your average horse enthusiast. Cook also served in the Marine Corps, including deployments to Africa and Iraq. I think like any athlete, the schedule is what you make it. So if you work 12 hours a day or you're in school 12 to 15 hours a day and you have a burning desire to, to do what you love, you, you find a way to fit it in. Went on my first deployment um, actually to Africa and, um, and did a full tour there. And when I came home from Africa, I was, I was determined I was gonna, gonna find my own horse. So I chose an off the track thoroughbred and um, went and actually bought him out of Georgia. There was, um, there was a lady down there who um, was well known for finding horses at various tracks around the country that had aptitude for, um, actually for a, a wide variety of sports, but she really had some very nice eventing prospects because growing up in California in a venting barn, starting out as an eventer, that was really like, that's what spoke to me the most. Even though, you know, I appreciated and really enjoy riding dressage, um, you know, I, I imagine there's some element to some sports that some people can never get away from, you know, so there's, there's you know, the speed or the strength or of, of certain sports that will always call to those people who, who do them. And for me, I just couldn't get away from inventing. So I chose a young horse out of Georgia and um, brought him along the levels. And then I was, I was actually then rescheduled for deployment, uh, this time to Iraq. Um, I had him stay with, um, with some trusted friends down in, in North Carolina while I was deployed. And then I came back, continued eventing him. Um, I actually bought and sold a couple other horses. Cook's KCG Sport Horses specializes in a variety of services, including coaching, lessons, and training. KCG has also provided these beautiful creatures with an opportunity to have a second career after racing. There are a lot of, of different disciplines in the horse world, and um, most of those disciplines have horses that um, are bred for that sport. So most of the sports, um, there are breeders and there are breeds which are, are presumed to be preferable for that sport. Most people will tell you that most dressage horses, for example, are warm bloods. Um, and um, there are horses that are that are bred for that, and and the, they go generations back. Um, but we take um, a special interest in a different approach, which is very selectively choosing horses who are finished with their racing careers and retraining them 
for our sports. So KCG Sport Horses is, um, is a well-rounded um, program. So we, here at KCG Sport Horses, we don't just do eventing, don't just do dressage, don't just do jumpers, but we believe in a well-rounded approach and, and a well-trained horse. No superheroes complete without a great team behind them, as we all know. Cook has assembled the best of the best to help her keep everything running smoothly. Susan Trumpler, um, I work as an engineer in Lexington Park. Um, my horse's name is Ty. He shows as Tempest. Um, he's a six-year-old off-the-track thoroughbred gelding that I found through the Retired Racehorse Project. Um, we've been competing at the novice level in eventing and um, hoping to uh, move up to training. My name is Karen Datka. I'm a junior at Leonardtown High School. Margaret helped me find my uh, off-the-track thoroughbred who is 11 years old. His show name is New York Moon and we are working at 2-9 right now, jumpers, but by spring we're hoping to be at 3 foot. Hi, my name is Samantha McClarty. Uh, I'm prior Marine Corps MP and I've been working with Margaret for about nine years. I met her at Camp Lejeune and she helped me find my off-track thoroughbred through a canter website. We finished our first show yesterday and we scored above 70 percent and he's doing wonderful and we're hoping to move up to actual eventing this summer. My riders are very involved in the care of their horses. I expect them to to be you know, well-rounded horse people and to really take an interest and be knowledgeable and be responsible for for the care and well-being of their horses as well as their own athletic development and their own achievements in the sport. It's wonderful. She gives us all the attention and you know the different opportunities that we need. Each of us have a different levels and different horses that we're working and she sits down and works out what scheduling that you need, what kind of training your horse is, and if there's something that you can't do, she gets on and she was like, she explains it. She's like, this is what you need to do to get this out of your horse, and maybe my horse doesn't understand. She helps me realize that I need to do something different. Um, I really enjoy how well everyone gets along here. I've been riding for about 17 years and um, never really experienced this um, kind of camaraderie and team spirit as we have here at KCG. I love being at KCG because I find it to be really personal. Margaret gets to every person in a different way but makes sure that she's accomplishing what needs to be accomplished and you just feel welcome here. It's not like everyone's different. It's you're kind of all a family here. Special thanks to all the great people I met out there at Blue Ring Farm, home of KCG Sport Horses. And special thanks to you for watching Southern Maryland Sports Journal with me, Travis Thomas, exclusively on MetroCast Channel 10. Changing times brings changing needs. That's why for your convenience, Boots Heating and Air have extended their service hours to 10 hours a day, Monday through Saturday, at regular service rates. Through rigorous training classes and courteous business practices, Boots technicians always go above and beyond to provide you with award-winning customer service that you can trust. Boots Heating and Air, serving the Southern Maryland area since 1993.